Over in Tokyo, U.S. Vice President Pence met with Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. Did no one surprise North Korea's nuclear and missile threats top the agenda? Under President Trump, the United States will continue to work with Japan and with all our allies in the region, including South Korea, to confront the most ominous threat posing this region of the world, the regime in North Korea. And let me be clear, our commitment is unwavering and our resolve could not be stronger. As President Trump told Prime Minister Abe at the Southern White House, so I say on his behalf today to all the people of Japan, in these challenging times, we are with you 100 percent. In the face of provocations across the Sea of Japan, the people of this country should know that we stand with you in the defense of your security and prosperity now and always. Now, the United States will continue to work with Japan, our allies across the region, and China to bring economic and diplomatic pressure to bear until North Korea abandoned its nuclear and ballistic missile programs. But all options are on the table. We've seen the very failure of dialogue writ large. First, we remember the agreed framework of the 1990s. Then we remembered the six-party talks. And with good faith efforts by nations around the world, again and again, North Korea met those efforts at resolution with broken promises and more provocations. That's why we've said the, the era of strategic patience is over. And President Trump has made it very clear. The policy of the United States of America will be to reach out to our allies in the region, here in Japan, where I just had a productive conversation with Prime Minister Abe on this topic. Uh, yesterday, uh, in South Korea, where I met with officials in the National Assembly and acting President Wong. Uh, President Trump recently met with President Xi uh, and the President uh, of China, reaffirmed China's commitment to a nuclear-free Korean peninsula. Uh, it is our belief that by bringing together the family of nations, uh, with diplomatic and economic pressure, we have a chance, we have a chance to achieve our objective of a nuclear-free Korean peninsula.